All right, we're back. Uh, we just finished talking to uh, <coughs> Sovereign here. Uh, realized that he is not uh, a ship or an AI, but an actual Reaper. And yeah, now we gotta go uh, um, set the bomb. Sniper, sniper, sniper. They followed us up. Stop being so swift. They're 
charges are set and ready. Everybody get low and keep your heads down. <laughs> All right! Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. is in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? I read you. The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down Damn, on the AA tower. Position. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kira, he's dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. No one gets left behind. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold him as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Guard that bomb. You keep that nuke safe. understand what the point of crouching in this game is for. What is it supposed to do? There's no way you need to use it to get under something. It doesn't give you like any advantage over anything. I can do squats on the elevator, I guess. Reinforcements. We better hurry. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and it's bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. How bad is it? Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! Damn it. What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get the lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams! Okay, so, this is going to be a major turning point for this game, number two, and number three. Every time I've played this game, every time, I've always saved Ashley. So, there's literally three games worth of dialogue with Caden that I've never heard. So, we're going to pick Ashley to die this time. So, bye-bye. I don't want to do it, though. See, I feel bad about letting her die. Like, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to let her die, but I got to because... That's what I'm here to do. So, uh, going to Kate. Damn it! So, after this, is gonna be all new dialogue I've never heard before. Yeah. Alright, bye, Ashley. I still can't do it. I'm gonna do it! Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Yes, Commander. I. I... You know it's the right choice, LT. Of course it was. Fight hard, Chief. Die proud. Aye, aye, Commander. Uh, I let her die. I feel bad.
so probably for the next two games, I'll uh, I'll bring Alanko with me, um, just because I've never heard his dialogue after this point for all three games. So it'll probably be Alanko and Tali I'll be taking with me from now on. Oh, really? As soon as I spawn or get in here, you're gonna, you're just gonna. Commander, you need to move fast. We can't hold these things off much longer. Watch the corners. Suppressing fire. Oh, what is going on with my sight? Man, stop. Yo, what is going on? That keeps like not aiming for me. Like, what is going on here? What the hell is going on? of diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. You don't fool me. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power. Even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? I won't be a slave. I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're just a puppet. You're like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. You're a coward. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. <coughs> but you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must you die. die. Oh shit, cause she's a big ass rocket. God damn, we jammed up in the morning here. I thought I died. <laughs>
shot his ass. How she killed a one shot with a pistol, but my freaking sniper rifle ain't do nothing. <laughs> that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? The mission can't fail. We had to leave her behind. Saren has to be stopped, at any cost. But why me? Why not her? Don't question me. Lieutenant Olenko, I am your commanding officer. I did what I had to do. Don't question my orders. I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But if I'd done my job, we should have been able to save her. We will avenge her. Get it together, soldier. Ash's blood is on Saren's hands. And when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, sir, I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Forget it. Nobody's messing with my head anymore. I'm sick of dealing with these visions. I understand your reluctance, Commander. But the visions are already there. I only want to help you make sense of them. It may be the only way to stop Saren. Fine. Looks like I don't have a choice. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Yeah. She had the black Incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Hurry up. We don't have a moment. Snap out of it. Tell me what you saw. It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. That's it? What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get I'm to Ilos. Short. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. That won't stop me. The conduits on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Uh, uh -huh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Go ahead. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn him about Sovereign. Let's see what they have to say. Do it. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. I hope you don't plan to cut us off like last time, Commander. <laughs> what you discovered on Vermeer is too important. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan don't matter. Sovereign's the real problem here. The Reapers wiped out the Protheans. We're next. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. You don't believe me? Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. 
You probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Don't be stupid. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Bye. Oh, looks like we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. <laughs> Something so satisfying on hanging up on them, but I still feel like... At the same time, I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna lose I my job. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Both time. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. So we're, I think, yeah, we're pretty much heading towards the end of the game. Actually, yeah, yeah, we're pretty close to the end. I think this is like the final mission. It's like, hey, Jesus King, like this main story is like, what? Six, seven hours? It's, nah, it's not very long. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. That's it? You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mu Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. What about the Reapers? Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Then you're all fools. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Son of a bitch! Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. So I do all the dirty work, and you get to be the cool human guy now. Commander, I've got a message from Captain Anderson. Give me the message. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Actually, can I go back inside? I want to Log. Tell you. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Okay, it's locked down. Doesn't mean I shouldn't be able to go inside, eh? God damn. Exogeny officials have announced that their research colony on Pharos is being shut down. Four, five, Difficult living six, conditions combined with poor yield of viable seven, discoveries made eight, it economically unfeasible. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, Commander oh, Shepard? Yeah, this lady. Kalisa had been seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Go away. I'm not in the mood, Miss Algelani. People back home have heard. Of I can give you the chance to set the record straight. I said, get what do you stuffed. say? I don't have time to justify myself to your viewers. I have a galaxy to save. Excuse me. Your choice, Shepard. Okay. 
Uh, I need a transit system. Brown. Word locations. Flux. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. You should be careful who you say that around. It's out of my hands, Rita. I I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard help. Me. You had to know what was going to happen. Why didn't you warn me? I tried. The ambassador wouldn't let me get a message through before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. Forget it. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What happened to you? If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. You're right. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area, patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. I don't like it. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not going to let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Okay, whenever I've done this, I've always picked him to break into Udina's office. So we're going to try the Citadel Control and see what that's like with the dialogue. If you're lucky, the patrols won't catch you. I'll be careful. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Ready. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Hey, pardon me, soldier. Can I take a moment of your time? I'm no soldier. I'm a commander. Oops. Vroom, 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 vroom. Vroom, vroom. Uh, I think this one takes me to the dock. Yeah, dock from there. I've heard some humans are angry at the Quarians after the attack on Eden Prime. After all, you created the Geth. The Geth killed billions and forced us from our homeworld. Most Quarians believe we have paid properly for our mistake. Hopefully having you with us fighting Saren will change people's minds. See, that's dialogue I've never heard before. Because I've always picked Ashley to stay and him to die. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in... Sir, this is a restricted area. Sir, you can't... I'm pretty sure his head's harder than yours. I think that would have hurt you more than him. Freeze! Back away from the console! Hands up! Now! <laughs> oh, he actually shot him. Get us out of here, Joker. Now! Oh, 
we've escaped. Let's go talk to Tully one more time, because I think this, this is the final mission once I go to Ilos. Um, that's it. That's like the, the last main mission. So this might be the final video for this. I might just make it go further than an hour. Where are we at right now? We are at exactly 30 minutes. Oh, wow. So yeah, this probably might be like an hour and a half video. Maybe longer. I don't know, maybe that's like something I'll just do whenever it's like the final episode. You make it like like a special. It's a little longer than normal. We're fugitives on the run. Very exciting, Shepard. I wonder what the council would do to us if we got caught. Wouldn't your dad help us? Your father probably had some political pull, right? He wouldn't let them throw his little girl in jail. You don't know my father. Stealing ships is a capital offense among my people. He'd probably want to execute us himself. It doesn't. Not a problem. The Normandy's the best ship in the fleet. They'll never catch us. I hope you're right. Uh, so we already talked about all this stuff, so... I think that's it for... I should go. See you later. Dialogue. Short and sweet. Nothing happened. I can't, like I said in the last episode, I, I can't romance her in Mass Effect 1 anyways, because I guess technically she's, she's like borderline underage for her people. So the next episode, or the next episode, the next game Mass Effect happens a few years later, so she's probably like of age by then. And then you're able to romance her. So we're going to do that. Cool, that just saved us some time without having to dig into too much Message dialogue. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. I don't blame you for blowing her off. She should have made a request through channels. I have PR people doing spin control, a little memetic engineering, and people will forget about this in a week. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Thank you. Off the Ilos! Oh shit, I went too far. <laughs> so yeah, so some of these are like um, the Novera, um, this, the Asteroid, that's DLC. Um, I think that's DLC. I think these three here are DLC. I'm not really worried about them. Um, they're just small little tidbits. One's just an asteroid um, that I had to stop. Nothing crazy. See, so yeah, this is the final mission. This here is the last mission. I think the other two games are much longer than the first one. This game would have been longer if I did all the side content, like the side quests and all that, but not really worried about it. Engage the south systems. Uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone! <laughs> the descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. I can Joker. It. Drop us right on top of that bastard. Alright, so Lenko, you're a new, new guy to be bringing with us. 
and Talia. I mean, I've been bringing him along with me for most of the game anyways, but that was dialogue I already heard until Ashley died. this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. Damn! Shot me in the head. God damn! Come on, zero deaths, zero deaths. I haven't died this yet. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. I'll try to remember where I gotta go. This way. Yeah. Because I always remember I would take the left and go down there and get friggin' lost. I need to come to find out I was supposed to go this way. and then I can start playing the real fun. Oh, shit! at each other? That's just an elevator that goes up there. Waste of time. I don't think I can get much any gear better than the gear. Ah, come on. Oh my 
gosh, I can't even... Still has power. It must be running off its own generator. I bet this is the command center for the entire complex. Seren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Controller's like not aiming at him. Why is it moving? It was like moving me away from him. Come on. Seren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. It's a warning. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It's too damaged. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Stay in shape.
It's opening. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Or we just haven't run into it yet. Like stasis pods. Ouch. God damn it. I always hit that damn thing. I hate that that's there. I should have removed that. What's happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I don't think Saren's behind us. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it. What do you think this is? I don't know. I just hope that whatever's down here is friendly. We've got enough enemies at the moment. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. <coughs> Wait a minute, how come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. I don't have time for this. Saren could be at the conduit right now. We have to go. You seek to end a cycle that has continued for millions of years. To stop it, you must first understand it, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government. As it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. That's a perfect trap. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our Empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. All of you? Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. 
How can I stop them? You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit's not a weapon. It's a back door onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? It was necessary. You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. The Keepers? So the Keepers are those little tiny bug things we saw like the first episode where Buddy wanted to pay me to scan them all. So yeah, that's what the Keepers are. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. So basically, if you're not, anyone is not picking up what's going on here, um, the Protheans built... We're at the planet we're on right now, the Protheans built the conduit, and the conduit is like a back door, a secret door, t a teleporter t into the Citadel. The Citadel is a mass relay, and what the mass relays are, are those things we use to teleport way across the galaxy, but the Citadel is like a master one, and that controls all of the other mass relays, uh, unbeknownst to us. We don't know that. So, basically, the Reapers used back in the back in the last cycle when they killed the protheans they used the citadel to come from dark space now all of the mass relays that are out there besides the citadel can't reach dark space only the citadel's relay can reach dark space so they need to get the keepers to activate the uh the citadel as a mass relay so they can come directly from dark space to um the citadel other than that, they'd have to just actually fly from dark space to the Citadel, which would take countless amounts of years. So, basically, they're trying to activate the mass relay, but they couldn't, because what he said about the Protheans setting up a signal to block the Reapers from getting the Keepers to activate the mass relay, they haven't been able to do that now. So, what Sovereign's trying to do is trying to activate the mass relay inside of the citadel so that the reapers can just directly teleport to us hopefully you guys understood what i was saying 
Unless Saffron succeeds. Saren succeeds. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. See? Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Not this time. I'll take Sovereign down. Somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Let's move. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Let's hurry. <laughs> some squats before we get there. <clears throat> Gotta work on those glutes! It's tragic. For all their great achievements, the Protheans lost everything, just like my people. Even their last plan failed. Not entirely. They've given us a weapon. They've given us a chance. If we can just get there in time. Let's ride. Basically, just gonna see if we can plow through all of this. Conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time See, so it to just looks like a little mass to get relay that there. relay. And these geth aren't going to make it easy on us. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! 
Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? No! He got the most gangster walk. Like, <laughs> Oh shit, we got 37 seconds to get there. Hang on! Things are gonna get a little rough. Considering this thing doesn't fucking handle well at all. Here. Actually, look at that. We actually just hit our hour mark. So you know what? Might stop the video here. All monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. Yeah, so we're going to end the video here, um, and hopefully the next video takes about an hour. I don't think it'll take an hour to beat, but I might as well just end the video here, since it's already an hour, and we kind of like sort of stopped, and we're able to start a new objective. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.